Ooh, ooh, it is so warm in here. It is June and it's like, I think I promised like 27 degrees Celsius by the end of this week. Um, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> in this video, I gathered some of my favorite tips and ideas to, for summer photos. Let's get right into it. Idea number one is body painting. Uh, so I have this floral pattern dress that I got in a collaboration I did recently and I got really inspired by the pattern and just decided to doodle some of these flowers on my legs and it was a really fun project. I sort of improvised it, I didn't have a very specific plan and it just felt like a very playful thing to do. Um, and I used a color that was acrylic uh, but water-based uh, so you just have to see what kind of color you can use and that it can it's possible to wash it off. Idea number two is shadow bikini. So uh, basically you just put yourself as a shadow in your bikini. So you have the bikini on the beach or on your towel or whatever and then you just place yourself so yeah it looks like you have your bikini on but it's your shadow who is wearing it. Um, and here you have to be a little bit careful what time of day you do this so that your shadow doesn't become like super long or tall or super short. Um, I took this one at around I think 2 or 3 p.m. That was when the sun had, was at the best angle for this and I also took it with the iPhone so I don't have the bulky camera that you can see in the photo. The third idea is to do a picnic and you could do this picnic idea either indoors or outdoors. So I did one indoors a few weeks ago and just I gathered a bunch of props and some really yummy summary snacks and I took this in our living room when the sun was coming in through the windows to get that really picnicky vibe and still have that very strong mood and a few years ago I did a picnic idea outdoors and just had this huge plate uh, to just add a little bit of fun and whimsy to it. The fourth idea is, is to use flowers to create a shadow pattern. So in this picnic session I also had these flowers that I put in front of myself from where the sun was shining to get this really cool pattern on my face and I've also seen again lots of examples of this so you could also use lace or yeah flowers they have really nice intricate pattern just to create some interesting texture just by using light and shadow. Idea number five is to make a floral headpiece so if you've been following me for a while you know that deer the animal deer is very dear to me <laughs> and uh, I did this collaboration and got this wallpaper with these deer that have these huge floral antlers and I really wanted to recreate this in reality so I could pose with the head no with the wallpaper uh, behind me and just crafted these out of some metal wire and then some tape and newspaper and then I just painted them and put a bunch of flowers in there. It was a little bit of a tricky business to get it all to stick together, but I'm really happy with the end results. And obviously you could do something much more simple, just a regular floral wreath and go outdoors and take some photos with that. It's just really the embodiment of summer, I think, and gives me so much kind of midsummer night's dream vibes. And if you pair that with a very romantic dress and maybe go out in the evening, again, when you have really gorgeous light with golden hour and the sun shining, um, that's really just like the perfect, perfect circumstances for a really summery and nice photo. Next idea is to take an outdoor mirror selfie. So yes, the mirror selfie has been done uh, two bits, <laughs> but a fun thing to do is to take your mirror outdoors instead and Put it on the ground for example and just see what kind of interesting things you can do with that reflection and having the sky suddenly be on the ground and I guess the biggest challenge here is just how to place your camera and yourself so that the camera is not in the mirror itself um, so that always takes a little bit of a fiddling around with but definitely I think the result is worth it um, and again on Pinterest if you search for mirror selfie or creative mirror selfie there's tons of really cool examples out there. Idea number seven is to do seashell wings. So this is the perfect photo idea for a day at the beach. And if you find a really pretty shell or if you find two shells, but you can even, you can fake this in Photoshop. I've done that many times just to get the perfect symmetry. So basically uh, you then take a photo with yourself first and then with holding the shells. And I have a video up here showing how you can then combine these in Photoshop. You could do that either on the laptop version or also in the app called Photoshop Layers. Uh, combining those two and it's so great because you can wear these endlessly because there are so many different shells to do this with the different surroundings and the next idea idea number eight is to do a seashell bikini so this is a real mermaid picture and again using bikinis in a first perspective photo but instead of having them on your back they're on the front and then suddenly boom, you have a bikini 
And continuing a little bit with the fourth perspective theme here, next up is Fruit Bicycles. So this is again a series I've done a lot and I've seen others do it as well. Uh, so using anything that is round basically <laughs> to mimic a bicycle, so flowers or then fruits like lemons and uh, blood oranges or strawberries even everything really works well for this um, And just it does help to have a real bike that you can pose with but then I've also done this without a real bike And that has worked fine too. It's just a matter of trying to find that pose and just uh, Yeah, really pretend to be on a bike and to make it look more credible Next idea is to look for matching shapes. So if you have a prop and a dress, for example, that have some matching themes. So for example, I've had this dress with these lemons on them and then I had a lemon as my prop and did fun things with that. Or if you find a really fun beach towel, again, well, fruit seems to be a huge thing in the summer. So this tends to be something that is pretty easy to find. And then you can also mimic that. So you basically multiply a theme, if that makes sense or then you could do flowers or just basically anything you can find, anything that inspires you and just use that one thing to build a fun and summery idea. Oh, it is very toasty in here. <laughs> All right, next up is to pose with a floral bush. So again, this is the time of year where different flowers really bloom. Um, so use that to your advantage and hide in them or just have them in your background because they are, it's really nature's splendor in its full glory. What are these words I'm saying? You know what I mean. Um, so take advantage of that in a creative self-portrait and you can go really just how artistic as you want in this one. Next idea is heart-shaped breakfast. This one is a very specific one, but I have a thing for breakfast and food, not Brexit fest. <laughs> no, breakfast. <laughs> I have a thing for breakfast and just food in general. And I thought it would be fun to just try to spice that up a little. So I created these heart shapes in different ways with just jam on some toast. And you could obviously explore different shapes. Next up, painting the walls. So this is a concept that I am really, really in love with. Um, and I've done one where I did a huge flower wall painting in the bedroom. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna real, I didn't do it for real. So I did uh, do it first just on paper and then I photoshopped it in. And the same with this huge graffiti rainbow that I did on this huge church we have here in Helsinki. I also did that with Photoshop. Um, so that requires a little bit of a skill uh, to do that, but it's not too difficult The main thing is just to try to really match the color and that you make it a little bit transparent So it actually looks like it is on the wall uh, So it doesn't just look like copy pasted in there I think we've all had the experience of floating around on an animal in a freezing pool at some point in our lives uh, And one really fun way if you don't want to be take a pool creative selfie is instead to take that floatable animal and for example make it fly or just create something fun maybe you're gonna ride on your swan in the garden I don't know that that sounds a little weird but anyways using that as a prop Whew, okay I had to come in here in the shadow instead it was getting so warm there by the window next idea number 15 is to do a giant flower creative selfie and here you can really think about Alice in Wonderland and just what kind of flowers or what kind of colors inspire you and to really blow it up and play with that proportion and Flowers is such a good thing to have in your photo because they're just aesthetically very pleasing to the eye and you have all these colors and shapes that you can play around with and then different seasons you have different flowers available to you so it's just like an endless endless treasure trove to be digging yourself into no to be digging to dig into to dig into you know what I mean idea number 16 is to take a photo of your pet sunbathing and I just realized it is not a creative selfie idea but I suppose it didn't say for who it is, the selfie. So it's your pet's selfie then in that case. So our uh, cat Bella, uh, she loves to sunbathe and will always find a spot in the sun. So then you can just grab your camera and snap a photo of that. Or I mean, you could even, if you love to sunbathe, why not take it of yourself instead? The next idea is to put the moon in your pocket. Mm, such a poetic name. This was a photo I took in uh, Burma in Myanmar where we went to this February, just before all the corona stuff happened, 
uh, so we got very lucky there. Um, and this is not photoshopped or anything, it just happened to be that the moon was in such a position that I could place myself with the help of my sister, because it was very tricky to get the hand exactly right. Um, so if you're at a beach or, you know, it's an evening where you can really see the moon really clearly, uh, you can take this very, very fun idea. And then I did use an app called Bokeh Can Fix uh, to put in those little stars in there as well. The next idea I'm calling bookworm because in the summer I think a lot of us it's the time that we want to be reading out in the sun um, and this is just an idea. Also if you don't want to have your face in the photos just like putting the book on your face and maybe finding a really nice backdrop or and you could just do this anywhere maybe in a sun lounge chair uh, or somewhere I think it's just like a really really simple but very fun idea. Next idea natural nail art. I found these tiny little flowers that I thought were really cute and then I think I used honey to glue them on to my nails and then I also just used a marker to do some markings on my fingers. In the summer nature is really at its most gorgeous in the sense that everything is just blossoming and it's so green so it's also a really good time to seek out a huge meadow and go running or walking and think you know Jane Austen and kind of romantic evenings. Um, and I've done a bunch of different things out in a meadow and really played with that like huge huge scale Next up bending the sea. This one uh, was a really fun one. Uh, there is an artist that um, I'll try to find her uh, I think it's a she uh, who does these kind of photos that I was inspired to do this one and uh, yeah I'll, I'll link her if I can find her. Um, this was a little bit of a tricky one So again, this is something I've done with Photoshop uh, but again a really fun idea to just like put everything on its head and literally yeah bending the sea flower ring so this is again a little bit of the theme with the nail art but instead taking flowers and using them as rings or why not as earrings or a necklace so using them as decoration on yourself fruit headphones so this is a photo i took two years ago it was such a warm day um and it's kind of a simple one and instead of having you could also do this with she she sea shells Ooh, tongue twister toast butterfly I don't know, I have a thing with toast uh, apparently because this is already the second idea with using toast. Um, but this is again just using what you have, something that is very easy, very cheap to get and maybe you most likely have it already in your kitchen. And if you want to just keep it more simple and if you have a forest with some berries, for example blueberries, that I love blueberries and we usually get them I think in July, August here in Finland. Uh, so just holding those in a cup and uh, or if some fruits that you're getting from a uh, market. Idea number 26 is sunflower coffee cup. This is a photo I did recently that was inspired by an older photo and sunflower works so well for this one because obviously the middle of the sunflower is dark so coffee works for this really well and again you can put your own creative spin on this and maybe not copy exactly how I did it just by adding maybe different props and different textures watermelon umbrella. So because the watermelon has these little dark seeds that look exactly like raindrops, uh, you can use this either just on a plate, like very, very simple, or then holding it up as an umbrella and just using those little seeds as raindrops. Or you could just use fruits to make it rain in general. <laughs> so here I've used strawberries. And uh, my original idea was actually that they would be floating upwards, like little tiny hot air balloons, but I think it looks more like strawberry rain. You could also use other fruits here. Uh, I've also used apples, for example. Idea number 29 is to align with the ocean. This is a photo I took uh, in Thailand uh, about two or three years ago. And first I just went in the pool and dipped myself with the clothes on, even though that was forbidden. Uh, but I did it anyways to get that line on my clothes so that the one part of my clothes is wet. And the last idea is to use a fan in your photo. So this is really the time of year to be using a fan in your photo because the other times uh, it doesn't really make any sense. And also a tip for if you want to find more summary photo ideas or creative selfie ideas is to really think about some props or like a specific prop that you will then like build your whole idea around. I always find that that helps a lot that I have a very concrete starting point. That's something that maybe I find in a charity shop or just when I'm of walking or even just flowers or a dress, anything like that. And then you can build up an idea from that. And yeah, again, thinking about things like colors or shapes or just props in general and like what the whole story of it is. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got some ideas for this and you feel 
motivated and pumped to go outdoors, stay indoors and take some summery photos. If you'd like to see more of my stuff and I have a bunch of also ideas coming up this summer, then go ahead and come and say hi. I'm over at Kutovakika on Instagram. Uh, all right, that's it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna go out now. Ooh, so sweaty. <laughs> and uh, I will see you back here next week. Bye. My bonnet, hello. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello. A bee in my bonnet, hello.